Over on this side, we're at the, what we've got here is our uh, SR25 series. So we've, um, we've been in production of the uh, 762 SR25 for, for a number of years. It's uh, Gene Stoner's creation. And uh, he really set out to, to pick up where he left off with the AR-10 rifle. And I'm not gonna, not gonna get too bogged down in the history, but uh, this is a, a really a core key part of our line. So what we did this year is we rebranded re with the rifle that we've always called basically a lightweight match. Um, and we, we upgra upgraded and updated it with a lot of our new features like the URX with the integrated front sight system, the ambidextrous features, um, the suppressor attachment from the Mark 11 type gun. And uh, we put those, all those features on a gun that was specifically made for the commercial market. We rebranded re this, this rifle as what we're calling the Enhanced Match Rifle. And uh, EM also ironically uh, is, uh, is also uh, Gene Stoner's initial. So there's a little, uh, a little, a little thing we snuck in there. Uh, what I'm really excited about here is our new carbine rifle, our new 16-inch gun, and uh, we really, really have been uh, have been hard at work on this weapons platform. We got a lot of new upgrades to it. We've really optimized the gas system, the buffer system, to uh, to be really set up to work the best with a with a sound suppressor. There's no adjustments needed for the gas block. This uh, this gun's really really set up to uh, to run. To run the best we we can make it. This is uh, we've 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 the nomenclature for this in the past has been K gun, carbine, battle rifle. But this is uh, this is our latest version of that, and it's got all our everything we can put on. It's got the uh, the PDW style cut selector, ball milled light and barrel, ambidextrous features, um, LMTs, uh, new charging handle latch. So if it was out there and we could get our hands on it, we put it on this rifle, and we're offering it. Uh, to, you know, to the commercial uh, to the commercial market at a price point that uh, that we feel you know it's going to be successful for us. So that's the new uh, enhanced match carbine. Hi, my name is Shane Robinson with Knight's Armament Company. Work in the night vision department. Uh, we've got some optics here today to go over with you. Um, first of all, we've got our UNSSR, which is our short range night vision optic. It's about a 400 meter sight. It's a very good platform lightweight. You can also use it as a handheld device. Uh, in the mid-range, we have a PBS-22, which is our UNS sight. It's also a sniper sight. You can use it on an M4 or you can use it on a long range sight. Um, about range 400 to 600 meters is about your maximum range for this device. We also have our long range sight, which is a, called a PBS-26. It is a long range sight. It is a optimized for uh, 338, 308 uh, firing. It is an inline clip on sight. All of our devices here go in front of the day optic sight. So what that means is when your day sight is zeroed, you clip on the optic, you're good to go. You can also put these on multiple platforms when needed. Moving over, we have some thermal devices. We have our uh, short range, medium range, UNS, T, it's a thermal sight. It is a very small package, you can use it as a handheld or a, um, in front of a clip-on weapon sight as well. We also have a long range sight, a little bit longer, it's called the UNS TLR. It also clips on in front of the existing day sight. Both of these are thermal, they take uh, DL123 batteries, very common battery to use in the, in the military. We also have our fuse sight, which is a fusion device, it takes thermal and I squared. Knights Armament developed this, we were the first company to actually develop a fused image sight. It takes the capabilities of our long-range device in I squared. It also takes our long-range thermal capabilities. It makes it into one package that you can fit on a sniper rifle. Again, this does clip on in front of an existing day sight. These, all these devices here are zero within a half a minute of the day sight with a half a minute retention. Most of the industry standard is still at one minute. Knight's Armament is still ahead of the game at a half a minute. That's pretty much it. It's good.